Ladies and gents, we've got eight kings, right? Where are the kings? There's the kings. We've got eight kings. We've got eight players. We've got hyper random, and we've got some regicide diplomacy, all right? Uh, should be an excellent game. It just feels like the games we've been churning out with community games has been fantastic. But we've got a very pretty map here. And uh, we have a couple players who played community games before, a couple players who have never played before. I'm very excited to break it down. Let's dive in. Uh, here in the purple, playing as the Saracens, we have Mintons. Uh, I might call this individual Mint or, or Mittens at some point. I apologize. Uh, here in the green, we have Whitey Wiseman playing as the Hunt. In the orange, we have Soul Killer 52 playing as the Italians. In the teal, we have Fafunit uh, playing as the Berbers. It doesn't look like they started with sheep underneath their TC, by the way. So players are trying to figure that one out. Uh, in the yellow, we have Sir Mayonnaise <laughs> playing as the Spanish. Great usernames, guys. Uh, in the red, we have Harry T playing as the Cumans. In the gray, we have Seth Law playing as the Portuguese. And in the blue, we have Paradox, who's playing as the Chinese. Now, Hyper Random can give you anything. Like, sometimes you start with castles, sometimes you start with fortresses, sometimes you start with neither of those things. And sometimes the map is very snowy, apparently. So we've got lots of snow. It looks like uh, three different areas of water, actually. What is this? That's very interesting. Normally, you would expect there to be water back here. Um, the other thing about Hyper Random, which is kind of hard to tell when we're casting, but there are different amounts of food on each resource. So uh, this Ibex has only 64 food. This Boar has only 212 food. So that is much less than a standard game, for example. Whereas the Bush has 220 food, which is more than a standard game. Now, for the way this works for community games, we have, uh, I have a Discord server, which you can use for a variety of things, right? To stay in touch with the community, give feedback, blah, blah, blah. But there's a room called community games in there. And so for those of you that don't know how this works, I'll explain. Basically, my bot um, will post something in that room. And anyone who wants to play in this game, they're able to uh, react with a symbol and then if they get selected, the bot sends them to a room where it's only the players who got selected through the random drawing system, and then they can chat together, okay? Now, the reason I bring this up is, one, to inform people for, you know, everyone who asks and wonders how, how it works. But the other important part is, Seth Law said, oh, no, like, this is my first time. I'm a super noob. Who wants to join the super noob club? And... Three or four people wanted to join, apparently. Now, I don't know if that's going to carry over into game. So, before the game, Seth Law said, first community game, I'm a noob. I think Sir Mayonnaise was in on the deal. And then it might have been Purple, and it might have been Teal, because I don't recognize them. But unfortunately, people have different names on Discord sometimes. But it's worth pointing out that there are varying levels of experience here. Uh, and, and we'll be able to tell how experienced players are based on their eco count, I imagine. So, we'll see pretty soon. Now, it pains me to say this. It really does. But I pride myself on accurate commentary. So, I'll say it. Uh, Paradox303 here. He's pretty solid at the game. He's probably one of the more experienced overall players here. Um, he is someone who's he's worked within the community to, to work on events like Nations Cup, for example. So, I... Uh, the reason it pains me to say this is because I know him quite well. And uh, he's very good on Nomad settings, but I, I don't know if he's ever won a community game. And I'm sure if he has, he'll message me later. But he's reaching out to people right now, and he's doing the Diplo thing, guys. He says, Howdy Neighbor to Purple. Asking for friendships. He did Howdy Neighbor to someone else as well earlier, to Gray. And that's what you want to do here yes, yes. Uh, in a Diplo game. Grace says, anyone else stressed to hell? And Paradox says yes, and Teal says yes. <laughs> hmm. Anything else about the map to realize here? Large mass, large forest towards the middle, which will make it difficult for them to cross through the middle. This makes it more likely that we would see teams of four on either side of that, I would say. 
Um, obviously, Gray got kind of shafted here. Like, Gray is unable to fish easily. And Gray's probably going to scout the map and be like, yo, what gives? Because he did check the back of his map and he doesn't have water, but... I actually kind of like that. That sometimes the generations vary. Like, I get from a fairness perspective, you want everyone to have the same options. But especially for community games, it's not usually that big of a deal if someone has a slower start. And then the other player that's experienced, which I was going to get to, uh, which Shadow Ref brings up in my chat, is Harry T. Harry T hasn't played in a community game in some time, but I recall this guy being pretty good in 1v1s, and he might even be the better 1v1 player if we're comparing the peaks when compared to Paradox. These guys are introducing each other here. Um, Minton says, hello everyone, I am Minton's. And Fafunez says, hello, Mintons. It feels like we're at a support group. Uh, Gray says, I'm Seth Law, and I've always played a paladin in Diablo, and wow, you can trust me forever. Okay, can someone tell me what that means? I don't, I don't play Diablo. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know what a paladin is in Age of Empires, but I have no clue what that means here. Um, Yellow says, hey, dude, our nations are historically close. Want to be friends and get colonies around the world? Reaching out to Gray, of course, which is... Which would mean that Harry T has been completely skipped over, but uh, Harry does say, I'm friendly towards all, which is always good to see. Um, people, okay, someone says Diablo Paladins were the scummiest. Never trust a Paladin. Okay, but instead of opinions, can you tell me exactly, like, in Age of Empires terms or Diplo terms, what should I be thinking about that comment? Again, kind of spent my whole existence on this game for you all to get where I am. So maybe it's a game I'll pick up at some point. Um, okay, Ruthless Zealots. They are supposed to be a good guy, but I guess some people don't appreciate them. Is that it? Kind of like a monk. Good to know. Um, Whitey Wiseman is another player who I, I have a memory of. It's been some time, but I seem to recall Whitey Wiseman killing people. I've just had these memories of green color. I believe Italians. Maybe Whitey Wiseman can leave a comment later on YouTube and see if I'm correct on that. But I just, I remember this name. Yes. Um, and I, I do not know exactly why this, this name is in my brain. Last week. <laughs> so... Normally, I have a really good memory for things, right? I, I think people grow quite used to that. So last week, I'm casting a community game. And the guy's name was uh, started with an S. Scar for... So, what was it? Um, now I'm forgetting his name. I'm horrible. Um, shoot, it was a gray player. His name started with S. Chat, last week, help me out. You got this. Someone in my chat's going to help me out. Anyways, so basically, this individual... Apparently, I played a game before, and I was just... Oh, Slayer 94. That's what it was. Slayer 94. And much like Green, I was thinking, I, I remember something about this player. But I, I don't remember specifically what he did. And Slayer 94 goes, T90, I wonder if I can get away with the same thing last time. Said it just to us. Did it for the viewers in entertainment, for my entertainment. And I was like, I was just explaining how I did not remember specifically what he did. <laughs> And I felt really bad. I guess I shouldn't be expected to remember everything, but still. Okay, so Paradox is Gray. How you doing, buddy? I think we got off on the wrong foot. I think Gray is struggling to chat to Paradox for some reason. Um, Gray is not responding exactly. And Paradox does not appreciate that. And that's pretty much where things are there, so that's interesting. Uh, we have Orange saying he hasn't heard from Fafunet. Fafunet sounds like a weird early 2000s internet service. And Seth Law says, I like blue, so I like you, I guess. And Seth Law is trying to speak to Paradox, but is speaking to green. Or uh, possibly has some colorblindness, I, I don't know. But I think it's easy yes. enough to assume that Seth screwed up the chat settings here. As Sam, somebody said after their gameplay in the previous game, 
Uh, it is harder than it looks when you're in the game. So remember that. Salatnor, what is happening? What is happening, man? More gifted subs here on stream. People on YouTube are like, what? What are you talking about? More subs. But you, you probably pick up on the fact that I'm streaming this live right now. Thank you very much. Jeez, man. I don't know what to say after a while. Here, let's inspect these water hills further. This is what Salatnor wanted. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Thank you, guys. So, sieve-wise, we have very few siege onager sieves. There's only two civilizations in this whole game that get siege onager. Not that you see that that frequently in community games, but late game, you really would love to have siege onager. So, Mintons can do that uh, with the Saracens, and then you also have the Cumans who can do that. Harry did the Feudal Age 2 TC boom, is now on a couple TCs. Mintons and Paradox still chatting. Blue, I think this is only to you. Can you build a market in the bottom left? Placing Doc there now. So these two are chatting. Paradox is like, yo, you chatting with anybody else? And Paradox points out that he tried to chat to Gray and didn't hear back. And now, here we go. Paradox trying again. It says, hello, can you hear me? Now, I think last time Gray tried to respond to Paradox, but didn't get the settings correct. Keep in mind, Gray's first community game ever. I think earlier was talking about the stress levels. And Gr Gray says, is that yes. just to me? Yes. Now, he also says this to Green. Kind of interesting, too, because Blue, Gray, and Green are all top three scores. And Paradox finally feels like he, you know, he's, he's got a response, so he must be happy with that. Hmm. I can feel the passive aggression from Paradox there. No, no, no. That's that's being very kind. He's Scottish, remember. Okay? That is that is very kind conduct. Just sorry, I I don't actually know that many Scottish people, so that, that's just probably a pretty bad joke. Um Teal says, what is a good way to break an alliance? Entertaining eleven. Hmm. Yellow says you're not doing bad. What is a good way to break an alliance? You're going to say that to everybody? Excuse me? That's a new one. Uh, hey guys, what's a fun way to backstab? Any, any backstab ideas? Like, that's one of the things you do in my Twitch chat, but not when you're in the actual game. Teal says viewers want more condensed action than previous game. Well, the previous game did go on long, but Teal, you know what's going to condense the action... They're never going to trust you, and they're just going to kill you. You have made yourself the target, I believe. Oh, Harry T, chatting to me, chatting to you. Uh, Purple did say, hey, Green, I like your farms very much. Green did say, bet T90 is pretty jealous, so I hope he dies. But Harry T says, hey, T90, this is how it's done. Wait, what is he talking about? Is he talking about farms, too? I thought he was going to go on this whole ramble about how he's going to go have this master plan. I think... <sighs> Guys, my farms aren't that bad. It's just when it's late in the day, you know? When it's late in the day and I'm playing for fun, even though I'm playing, like, garbage. You know, sometimes they stray a little far from the mill. I swear... Okay, for every farm joke that's ever been made about me, how many people have actually watched me play more than three games? I would say maybe 10% of people who've ever made the joke. You don't even know. The rumors aren't true. Wow, Paradox is talking about a team wall. Guys, um, I don't know how many of you have a thesaurus, but I encourage you to do something right now. You pull up a thesaurus, okay? And you look for the term try hard, and it will be like try hard, otherwise known as... Paradox 303. We are seeing stone walls. 24 minutes into this game. Paradox really wants to lock down that trade. Make sure he gets the victory here. I respect it. I love it, though. All jokes aside. And it does seem like Gray is in the team. But Gray is also on Team Green and is not really chatting to Purple much. Teal just wants to chat to people. And there hasn't been too much chat happening. But everyone's just booming up. This game is difficult, as I'm sure you know. Why so silent? Is something going on? 
The great boom is going on, Teal. The great boom. <laughs> Stress, to be honest. Just trying not to suck. Stress. <laughs> I love how interested in the viewers Teal is, though. He keeps mentioning the viewers. Wouldn't it be a shame if, like, my internet went off right now? I mean, knock on wood. But what if, like, my internet went off and these guys play this whole game, Teal does all this epic stuff for viewers, and then I never see it? That'd be sad. Whoa, what was that? Maybe it was a tree that just got chopped here. In the corner of my eye, I saw something disappear in Soul Killer's base. Uh, someone asking how to avoid stream snipers. There, We are like five minutes behind actual game time here. So I never am immediately... Like, I'm never at live time, right? So whatever delay that I have, while this is live, technically, it should have enough of a delay where, like, Someone shouldn't, wouldn't be able to hear me say, oh my goodness, Sir Mayonnaise is going to lose his king to Harry T. You know, you wouldn't hear that. So that's, that's what I do. And in general, even if I haven't had a spec delay, it's very obvious if someone's stream cheating. There have been very few instances that that's happened in the past. Um, and I, I have ways to investigate that. I, I'd rather not share. But usually not an issue. So cutesy little water trade here from uh, blue and purple. Paradox has been a very chatty individual here. And green goes over to purple, says want to team up with orange for that nice trade. So green wants to yes. trade from this direction. And then the others are trading towards that same corner the other direction so purple and green find themselves in apparently a very important corner here and green talking about maybe the most efficient trade route right now mentioning spirit of the law because spirit of the law does the math but i'm not getting really any like solid indications that anyone doesn't like someone in the previous game, we had um, we had someone steal a relic, and that kind of started a war. But here, it's been pretty chill. <laughs> uh, Gray comes and says, "Hey, Gray, private chat. How are you doing?" I like how everyone's screwing up the chat settings. Red is saying this to Yellow as well, and now Yellow is chatting over towards Teal. So. Hmm. I have very... I don't have a strong gauge on how this game is going to go right now. It feels like everyone's pretty happy with the situation. No one's going to want to be the first person to attack. Obviously, Paradox is going to be... He's going to have resources galore. And he seems teamed up with Purple at the very least. And Harry T talking about gray 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 is definitely playing the i don't know what i'm doing card but he's playing it a little too strong in my opinion like this this guy i mean it's not bad right and maybe he lacks confidence but he's playing pretty good seth law you have 130 vills you've got good army buildings built up eureka looks fine paradox he's gonna start this he says red score scary yellow has spanish too Okay, so Paradox sees this as, we've got our side, they're on the other side, they must be together, and sees these two as the threat. And so honestly, I would agree. I think that's how this will play out. It does feel like Harry should probably trade this direction. Spanish are insanely strong late game as well, so. We'll see. Hmm. Just a boomy game. Some people already saying start the game already, but you know how it goes. When the attack starts, it really starts. Gray, I think, will do whatever he is instructed to do, though. He is very... Not a, a character that's going to be easy to manipulate, but he's a, he's a bit of a follower, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Doesn't seem like he wants to lead the way. I would say that Harry and Paradox are going to start to reach out to people and talk about a plan here. Harry kind of tried to do that soon. Question for my audience. 
Do you put mayonnaise on your freaking fries? I found out about that recently. I I, I cannot fathom ever doing that. Yeah, okay, so some people are saying yes. Why... Why is... Do you like pineapple on pizza the divisive topic that the internet chose? Instead of mayonnaise on freaking fries. That is way more divisive than pineapple on pizza, is it not? Europe versus America? I know, but you think, like, listen, as an American, you think we'd be the ones slabbering on mayonnaise onto our stuff just because. Just to get fatter, right? But that's not a big thing here, man. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I guess Sir Mayonnaise is name. Uh, Yellow asking Red's plan. Harry says, hey, Yellow, just trying to shore up things between you and Gray. I'm worried about Blue. Chinese are rough to fight in late game. Anti-1700. All right. Yes. Hmm. Blue says, let's see if he makes a move on Gray. If he does, we protect Gray. He chill AF. All right, so they're, they're concerned about red. So red is concerned about blue. Blue is concerned about red. I'm concerned that way too many people put mayonnaise on fries, but it's all good. Whatever you like, guys. Whatever you like. <laughs> have you ever dipped French fries into a vanilla milkshake? It's yes. really good. I have done that before. Yes. Um, I, I have done that before. I'll tell I'll give you a weird one, another weird one, which I tried and it actually blew me away. So growing up, I was at a family event, and my aunt told me to dip my french fries in gravy, because someone had, like, gravy on another plate. And I was like, ew, french fries in gravy? That's disgusting. And then mix it with some ketchup as well. And guess what? It was actually pretty good. It was very good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like poutine. Yeah, it was good. Harry T says... It may be prudent to wait. <laughs> Maybe a little too formal for my YouTube title, but I'll press the button so Hardy sees it later on. I think I may have a target on me. Oh, that could be it as well. Yeah, I mean, anyone who's top scorer should feel like they have a target on their back. Yeah, I guess, like, french fries are made from potatoes, right? Potatoes and gravy isn't the craziest concept, so... How do we start talking about food? Who started this? You did, Sir Mayonnaise. Sir Mayonnaise has elite conks, by the way. Now, I'm concerned that Sir Mayonnaise is going to make a very fatal mistake. I'm concerned that he is going to send his king out of his castle by mistake into the battlefield. Hey, man, what's on your mind, says Yellow. Now, remember, Teal earlier said... Hey guys, what's the best way to betray someone? <laughs> Ask the people in the game. What's the best way to betray someone? The Harry team making a joke about heated shot. I appreciate that. If you know, you know. He says he'll cash at me. No, guys, there's no... He is not paying me. All right? He's making me look bad. There, No, there's no agreement, Harry. There's, there was no agreement. We used the bot. We ran the bot. He is making me look bad for $0. Well, technically, I think he has subbed to the stream, so we got a couple extra entries, but so do other people, too, so. It's not rigged. Who's going to be the first one to, to, to go for the fights here? No one wants to be the first one, because then you are the bully. Paradox continues to lean heavily on the caps lock key. And Teal says, yes. can I... <laughs> Teal says, can I be part of the Ketchup Mayo Alliance? Wait, who's Ketchup? Is that red? <laughs> is that supposed to be Harry T? <laughs> Harry is the Ketchup? Oh, man, we gotta go the whole way around now. <laughs> okay. Sir Mane says, dude, you're saying the words to me. Well, you're Mayo. And Harry T says, we ask Gray if he wants to join us against Blue, depending on what he says. Gray is in a rough spot, man. Gray is sandwiched between Paradox and Harry. It's going to be tricky. They have to decide. Can be good. Teal Sun's friendly for now. Okay, push through him. His comp will die. Just hand cans. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
I don't know. Gray is onion. Paradox is blueberry. Yeah, he's a blueberry. That's pretty good. Uh, Minton's is eggplant. Whitey Wiseman is... I mean, we switched away from condiments, but I don't know. Broccoli? Soul Killer is... Uh... Pumpkins? <laughs> Carrot? <laughs> Carrot cake? Look at this chatter here, though, guys. Sorry, we didn't finish. You could say whatever Fafuna it is here, but they're just chat chatting away. I like... Look at Yellow. Yellow says, I'm 1,500. I'm not that afraid. Even less with you on my side. That's confidence. Harry says, I used to be 1,800 Vubly in 2018. Now I'm potato. Yeah, back in my day, man. Yeah, I like that. I miss the Hun Wars too, Harry. Harry, you know what you're talking about. All right, boys. Yes. Ladies and gents, we got to see a fight here. No one wants to do it, though. It is absolutely wrong for red and for blue and for gray to start the fight. It is bad. You always want to say someone else started the fire, right? You don't want the fingers pointed at you. At the same time, as the caster, I am ready for an engagement. All hell will break loose soon. Let's look at these stockpiles real quick. Look at that. Look at the resources. Over 10,000 gold for Seth and for Paradox. Paradox has 88 gold workers, including a lot of trade. Paradox is definitely the favorite in my eyes. Paradox. I wonder... Okay, let's look at Paradox's chat. Does he have Caps Lock as a hotkey? Yep, he definitely does. I don't... What hotkey do you think he has on Caps Lock? See, some pros have Caps Lock hotkey, but they don't chat a lot. It's like lowercase, uppercase, lowercase... Yes. Uppercase. Select all TCs? Yeah, maybe that's it. And Gray says, I'm an ex-WoW player. I've been retired for many years now. That's interesting. I've heard that that's not a game you retire from. Kind of like Age of Empires. <laughs> Arn says everywhere, who's gonna start it off? And Soul Killer researches treason, which will do absolutely nothing because you cannot see your ally king locations with treason. Capture Age will still make it blink, though, so it makes it seem like there's something happening there. Someone says, 700 days played in WoW, retired, never again, 10 years clean. Nice. Have I told you about Age of Empires 2? It's not addicting at all. It is definitely not going to take up more of your time. I think you should give it a shot, my friend. Hmm. I think the fighting will begin. Yes. Yellow has the conks out of his castle. I, I mean, yellow and red are definitely going to work together here, right? Gray is going to be in the middle. Who do you choose? Right now, guys, give me, give me your take. If you had to choose Paradox or Harry... Which fight? Which side do you fight with? Because normally I'd go based on where you're trading, but he's not actually trading. Paradox! Oh, you go with Paradox. You go with Paradox. If this happens and he cuts through the wood line, look at that. That's for better trade route. You definitely go Paradox. Okay. Red is asking Seth Law right now. We are going to make a move against Paradox. Are you in? Gray says, I'm right next to him. That scares me. And Harry says, it's okay. We got you. That's nice. And notice, no screaming from Harry T. No caps lock. That's very comforting. Seth Law says, the last time someone said that to me, it was bad for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe it's not his first game. Maybe I confused him with others. <laughs> He's scarred, guys. He's very scarred. Yellow says, Hey, purple, friendship can be far away, as if to say, we can be friends from far lands. And purple talking about what players are going to go for. We are still chatting here. This is not a just chatting stream, though. 
Uh, we are still categorized as Age of Empires 2 here on Twitch. Which, of course, means there will eventually be warfare. Now, hold on. Gray. Gray snitched. Gray says, Red says they want to go for you, man. Did Paradox see that? So, right now, Gray's trying to play both sides. And Seth Law says, can I be, like, neutral or something? What, you just watch them fight through your land? What, let Paladins and Chukunu just walk back and forth? You want your base to be the battlefield? No, you gotta pick a side. Paradox is very confident. He says he won't win. Harry does not trust Gray now. Says yellow just to you. Gray is stalling. And and here's the deal, guys. That That is a very important point. So, if you don't say yes to an offer like that, you, you just pick one side and be ready to fight, right? Because if you try and remain neutral, you're going to be involved in some type of warfare anyways. Teal's, Teal apologizes specifically to you, specifically to me. Sorry, viewers, for the lack of action. Change the chat settings just to do that. And now turns on Orange! Immediately turns on Soul Killer, bottom score. I assume to give us action here. So here we go. This person's really in it for the viewers. Bombard Cannons and Trebs. This is the last fight that I thought was going to happen. I thought it was going to be on the other side. Castles go down here for Soul Killer. And I feel a bit bad for Soul Killer. And the Trebs! The Trebs! Soul Killer! I mean, Soul Killer didn't say much this game. Obviously, Soul Killer probably really overwhelmed by the moment. And we'll see if there's going to be any support. Meanwhile... Gray has been turned on by yellow and by red. But like we've said a million times before, when it rains, it pours in these games, right? Things really heat up quick. And Gray's king is still in his TC. He didn't take the deal. Paradox said that they can handle him. But Paradox needs to support now against two. Yes. So it's all happening at once. Teal is winning massively massively against orange and orange I, I don't really know what you do here it was just so unexpected there's so much that's happening grace king grace king is in the tc green is also here i assume to support gray they did all that talking and they weren't really prepared to help the guy can the king from gray get out of here heels talking to red Teal's talking to Yellow, so Teal is very much on their team. King is in here, guys. And the King from Grey... The King from Grey escapes! Or does it? I think Yellow spotted it. Run, Grey. Run. Grey's dead. Seth Law's out of the game. Orange just died at the same time. So we've got a King dead here. And we've got a King dead here. And there will be explosions now. And Grey says... Oh forgot about the king. Well, that's a bit of a problem in Regicide, Seth. And it really felt like Seth didn't want to fight blue, which is understandable. But at some point, you do have to have an army prepared to take an engagement, and the explosion happens on both sides. And well played to Teal. And now, guys, now, it could be a 3v3, but, you know, the more I look at this, I think Teal is a serious threat, right? Yellow's played very well. And then you've also got um, red. Like, Paladins, Conquistadors, Kipchecks, Camel Archers. And Paradox. He's got to get his he's got to get his boys together here. Now, I could have sworn that maybe they were thinking about sniping Paradox. It felt like they were chatting about a way, like, someone was walled or something. I must, I must have missed it. Here's some Tarkins from Whitey Wiseman. Tarkins are usually a yes. stealth mission unit. It's not a unit used in the fights that frequently. But obviously, I think it'd be a mistake for green right now to to fail to support Paradox. Purple says blue, green. It might just be us versus them, which is what I think the situation is. It looks like we've got a big 3-3. Or a 3v3, rather. And that's a fair point from chat. Someone said, this is the price for not choosing a side. Yeah, that, that, that's essentially what I think it is. Like like I said, you have to pick one side. If you don't, bad things are going to happen anyways. 
massive engagement. You do not win this fight if you're the northern team. You just don't. These are some of the best unique units in the game. Camel Archer and Conquistador. And then you've got Paladins in front. Crazy. Uh, purple's going to turn. This is PC breaking action here. Uh, they haven't all turned on purple yet. Teal just did. I don't think yellow has yet. And we'll see if they figure that out. Salutes in chat, obviously, for Soul Killer and for Seth. They will look back at this, possibly kicking themselves. It just was one of those games where, where no one wanted to be the first one to attack. And then sometimes that means you are the one to be attacked. But well played. I do feel for people when they die that early, but it was still an hour, I suppose. Now the Bombard Towers from Paradox gives me hope that he can hold. The gold count from him, the 25,000 gold gives me hope that he can hold. But if the opponents add Seedram, or Trebs, and there's both, I don't think the towers are going to stay up all that much longer. Green wants to add stables over on this side to have the production close by. Teal is wide open, though. Tarkins against the Berber player would be really sick. That's that's actually a unit that the, the Camel Archers would struggle a little bit against, so... Hey, Barefoot, thanks for the bits, man. Salinor gifting more subs. Salinor. I missed it. Thank you. Uh, Tom, Tom, thank you for the four months. Great game earlier. <laughs> I cast the resub spell. Ooh, green research is treason to find out king locations. The king's not even garrisoned? Are you kidding me? Well, Teal, remember when you said you wanted to entertain viewers? The viewers appreciate this mistake. Oh my god. One little bop from something and you're out of the game. Yellow says, hey, Green, are we not friends anymore? I mean, this is a weird one, Sir Mayonnaise. Because, like, I don't see a world where, like, sometimes distance is a factor in love. And in this case, I feel this whole long-distance relationship you're shooting for doesn't make any sense because your teammates and his teammates will not agree. You can try and escape to, uh, you know, a foreign land together, maybe, and live peacefully, uh, don't know where you're really going to go, but it does feel like you have to fight each other right now. The green has not responded there. Remember, they cut, guys. Like, this trade is the most efficient trade yes. in the game. They cut. And we we do have Minton's now even continuing to expand the trees. If they get more markets back there, the trade's going to be incredible. But they're losing ground. Wow, the resub spell, when I said that, we got three more subs. Wow, sick. Combat, thanks for the year. It worked. Apogee, thank you for the long time. Abducted Platypus, good to see you, man. Platypus is on the uh, Capture Age team. We have castles going down. We'll have buildings going down. It's a shame for green. These villagers walked over here a long time ago. Just, I, I don't know what to suggest to these guys right now against this army. The the thing I will say, Siege. Like, I saw this Siege Onager in the north. If you get Siege Workshops nearby and you have five or six Siege Onagers mixed with everything else, I think it can change things. <laughs> fresh, fresh W in my chat. Nice try, dude. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> He says, cast gifted sub spell. <laughs> How Pachukanu in a, in a 1v1 is a really good comp. It's really cost effective. That's the thing about the comp. Only one of those units costs gold. It's not that much gold. But you can see the units are they're just getting picked off by all the range units. Some of the best range unique units in the game right here. Conquistador, Camel Archer, Kipchak. And... Now green has been turned on by teal, which apparently wasn't the case before. Reminder, though, his king is out in the freaking open right now. <laughs> OG Straggler Tree <laughs> gifted the guy some. Thank you, Straggler Tree. The spells work. I've got to research the way of the spells. Saracen Camels are really strong. 
They have lots of HP, but still lots of damage output here from the Camel Archers and the Conks. And these Trebs are slowly... Look, it's Trebs from all three of them, guys. You don't see that that frequently. Slowly taking down all these buildings. The stockpile used to be 25,000 gold for Paradox. He's down to 7k. And no one's above 10,000 anymore. Green has the most with 8,000. Uh, loopy guy, don't pato pesto. Thank you guys for, for coming back with the resubs. Again, it's like <clears throat> post hidden cup, man. We're we're at we're hitting the sub apocalypse, right? Big thing I look to is like, are we having people come back? <laughs> and there's been a lot of you guys around, even for non hidden cup stuff. So thank you for that. Um, the other thing too, I've been back on Twitch almost for five months now, so to see a lot of these resubs, the long times are of course great. But uh, the, like, five months and under resubs are also great as well. Hmm. Ooh, Mameluke would be an interesting unit. Mameluke would actually be really good. It might be a little too late to make that switch if Purple's really under pressure. But all of a sudden, the Chukunu and the Halb, the mass has gotten greater. Green's got units in front. Trebs are going down. Paradox is held. Wow. I mean, he just... He needed the Chukunu mass to get up high enough. And he says, Green, maybe try and raid trade. Actually, look at the rally point for Teal right now. His, his units are pathing to go here. Oh, and he's going to go right into Purple's castle. Oh, God! If he doesn't realize that, he's going to lose so many Camel Archers. Because we know what he did, right? He set the waypoint here, and the game telling him that it's a faster path to go that way. Well, Castle's gonna have three kills already. Where's the king for Teal? It's still there. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see. Someone would have to really be looking for it. Hmm. First live community game after binging replay on YouTube. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Sick. All right. I've also heard 10 out of 10 doctors recommend this channel. Is that true? Any doctors in chat? I, I've heard that. I've heard um, 10 out of 10 age Vampires players agree that simply watching the channel increases your ELO dramatically. I'm not sure about dentists, though. It might be like 8 out of 10 dentists. So green is getting into the trade here. Send a couple Hussars this way. Any amount of trade raid is good trade raid. This castle has 18 kills! Teal wanted to entertain viewers! Are you entertained? Oh. Oh, that's painful. The camel archers are so important here. Some resources are passed along here. <laughs> that's true, Straggler Tree. Straggler Tree, what's your actual elo? <laughs> I did call you 2k. I didn't know the other guy was 2k, so I was like, okay. I guess Stragor Tree got really good. Yeah, they really need to have a castle here. And Teal is saying he doesn't have sound. He says, no sounds. T90 was right all the time. Well, thank you for that. These two castles now have 33 Camel Archer kills. Those castles from purple were so perfect. This whole side. Oh, God. Oh, the Tarkins have no sound. That's what he's talking about. They don't thump anymore, guys. I've given up. I don't think the devs are going to give them their thump back. It just feels so weird to have entire buildings being walloped down with no noise. But listen, the Tarkins, they're silent. They're deadly. And right now, Teal, uh, Green thinks that Teal's king is in this castle. In reality, the king is just standing outside of the castle, getting some fresh air. Now, Berbers do have cheap camels, so these camels can defend from this, but if green realizes that king is there, that king is dead. And I imagine that Teal doesn't know the king is there, because if Teal knew the king was there, the king wouldn't be there. So we'll see. Love me some Tarkins. Fighting still continuing over here. But yeah, this is essentially a 3v3 right now, but I think it's going to be really difficult for Teal to hold solo. I could be wrong, though. There's 100 military. The castles stay up. 
This trade is actually the most worrisome thing for them. I guess they don't all have to trade towards Teal's markets, but still it's a big issue. Teal says, what is the king hotkey? I lost him. <laughs> Red says, you have to set it yourself. Uh-oh, control group. It. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think there is a go-to king hotkey unless they added it. And, uh... <laughs> oh, wait, did he find it? No, <laughs> it's really well hidden. Let's be honest. You're not finding that. When you're playing a game and looking all around, you are not finding that king. Uh. Straggler Tree says there is one? Really? Okay. Ooh, Mameluke's from purple now. We were wondering if he would have the castles and the time to add them. Wow, the team in the north is pushing back. I do want to see, though, what's the trade difference? It has to be massive. Look at the trade profit. That is the distance of the trade and the amount of trade. Paradox has been beasting it up with the trade. And it was really smart thinking, right? To Onager cut to the edge like this, and then here as well. He's actually, yeah, he is trading to that to this market still. This market needs to be deleted. Gives him a real shot. Teal pushing back, though. Doesn't know exactly where his king is, so I guess you should be aggressive. And that's a lot of Chukunu. Now, you need onagers against this many Chukunu. You really need to mix in some siege. And humans do get siege onager, but I imagine a lot of the resources have been spent on other things here if you're Harry. And yeah, Harry, not really floating the gold to justify it. Blue is the only one floating a lot of gold. Paradox is definitely the favorite in this game. And what a great job from him to hold, set up defensively, set up long-term, like pretty epic late game Age of Empires here. Even like joining the walls with purple is pretty epic stuff. Also love how purple has put one unit in each castle to kind of hide the, the idea of where his king is. Oh God, he's so exposed on the front. He's gonna lose his king. His king's gonna die, guys. Purple's gonna be moving in towards this castle. Maybe then Teal will see it, but... There is also a very slight chance that a Treb would miss and hit the king. I want so badly for that to happen. Yeah, Saracen Camels just destroy Berbers. Berbers actually don't have much of an answer to Saracen Camels or uh, Hindustani Camels, because they don't get Halb. You're just getting out camel, basically. And sure, your camels are cheap, but they are not as strong. And cheap does not matter when there's trade like this. Now, if Teal knew about this king, he could use the king as a weapon. He could send it into someone's base if he thought he was going to be defeated. And there could be an explosion. Not knowing about the king is horrible. Because if he dies right here, it affects his team... They'll lose trade, they'll lose the monastery, the buildings, the stables, the, the castles, like... Oh, man. Okay, so it's all right here. Here comes purple. The king is in purple's vision, but he probably doesn't know it's here. Eventually... Oh, the king's been moved! The king moved! I think it got attacked! The king is on the move! We'll seal, seal it, see it now! Oh, the castle shot the camel! I think he noticed it. He noticed it. <laughs> there you are, King. He just couldn't see it there. Now, this is bad, right? This is really, really bad. Things are dire. This is the trade route as well. So in a team game, basically, this is what ends games, is getting into the trade. And Purple says, Yellow, I'm sorry, perhaps in another life. They were talking about some type of long-distance alliance. Now, guys, Teal was thinking about viewers earlier. Do you remember that? I wonder if Teal's got a strategy planned. Again, King explodes if it dies. So don't accidentally delete your King here. You'll kill both your teammates, but... There's no answer to this. There's no way to stop this. Again, trade will go down. Harry will not be able to push back if that's the case. They might not realize how bad it is over there. Teal says, should I try something with blue? What type of something are you referring to? I love how the second he found his king, he wants it to die. Right? Guy hasn't been able to see his king for an hour. The second he finds it, he's in a state of mind where he thinks, well, let's go kill it. 
Let's go send it into someone's base. And <laughs> Harry says, use the ocean to kill green. <laughs> but Teal is already over here. He already traveled all the way over here. Ooh, yellow's through the middle. We had an onager cut. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty sick. Look at that. It's also satisfying how they're going completely south to north here. All right, they could maybe get some raids. So, Teal, I would advise you don't go anywhere near, near the battlefield. Um, it, this is a lot of darkness out there. Normally, you want to bring units as an escort. Is his Treb the escort? Mm, we'll see. Again, their trade could go down. Teal is still fighting back over here. Impressive. And Red says, can you do it, Teal? And Teal says, ah. Blue says, care. Going back, I was there, says Teal. So I don't know. Is he going back to the other side now? Okay, we're going to go right back. And now Harry says, no, 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 no. I forget what I said. We go for blue if you're that close. Okay, so now he's coming back. All right. <laughs> All right, indecisive. But guys, you only die once. So you want to do it right. Very inspiring stuff. Maybe less inspiring than you only live once. But, you know, it's true. You, you, you only die once. So you want to make sure your death counts. Yodo. <laughs> Yodo, <laughs> here he goes. Can you imagine if like, can you imagine if Paradox overchopped or something? Seems very unlikely. Okay, Red's got a Kip check there. I mean, it's a lot of people want to travel before they die. This is pretty cool. You get to go to Portugal, see all the Feitorias. I don't know how many camels they have in Portugal, so maybe now he's ventured into a foreign land. You have the Kipchak scouting, but they don't know where the king is. Maybe they do with treason. They would have to get closer. It would be epic if Harry could see Jonager cut. Teal says not that great. And Harry's... I like how Harry's trying to help him. I think he says, like, run it here and hope for the best. Like, get it as close as possible. Teal just says, okay... I mean, the gate's going to open. That's impossible, though, right? It will do damage to Paradox. This is going to be the end for Teal, who had the viewers in mind. And, uh, King's dead. All right, so now everyone's going to freak out, right? Everyone's going to panic. Paradox says, nice, guys. <laughs> but Purple says, where did the king die? <laughs> I don't think Paradox is going to think this is so nice in a second. Uh, could be wrong, but I think his opinion will change in three, two, one, boom. Uh, yeah, nice, guys. <laughs> but, you know, this gives them an opportunity, maybe. Paradox is oof. <laughs> um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I think he's still okay. His king is alive. He still has fortifications. He will need help. Of course, Teal has nothing, you know, to do with these units over here anymore. The trade will be very exposed. It feels like Harry and Sir Mayonnaise are on a clock. Now, I'm wondering how loyal will Paradox and Mintons and Whitey Wiseman be? There are games where we see backstabs. I'm honestly not expecting that here. I feel like this has just been a team game at this point. Harry says, try and convince Purple to betray him or something. Yeah, that's what we're going for. That's what Sir Mane says he's going to try and do. Can you achieve that, though? Hey, Green, I guess you are really close to Blue and Perp. Now, keep in mind, Yellow is doing this as he's dying. So we have to commend that, I think. Like, he is, he is losing everything. Hey, Perp, I guess you're close to Blue. Oh, uh, it's also stressful. All you hear is, oh, all you hear is the villagers screaming as they die. And then you're trying to type at the same time. And purple says, yeah. 
And Whitey Wiseman says to Mayonnaise, sorry, I like ketchup more. Okay. I like that response. Paladins from Harry can actually run in now because the wall was destroyed, which I didn't think about. I was thinking about killing Paradox, and he has more walls. Purple's in a freaking TC? Mayonnaise says ketchup is red like my friend. Uh, fair. And purple's on the move. Yeah, purple's on the move. Purple is running because he, he uh, saw the paladins. Paradox says, I must rebuild the Great Wall. I wonder if purple put one villager in that TC to make red think it's still the king. That was really interesting how that happened. Yellow says, I can offer my king if you protect red after. Or maybe you want to help blue beat everyone. I like this because blue is going to beat everyone, it feels like. So you got to plant that seed at least. I like how yellow is asking... <laughs> yellow is asking purple to protect red as red is killing purple. <laughs> this is really poor timing. This is really poor timing. I get what yellow is trying. Okay... Yellow is going to lose this king, most likely. King is nearby in that castle. Red's paladins will not accomplish enough here. The Great Wall from Paradox has been rebuilt. I'm sure he has the Great Wall tech as well with the Chinese. Trade will open the gate so the paladins can run through, but even if they get through, there's a lot of towers. It's just been a team game, basically. And it all started after that long stalemate, and it's just been action ever since. Purple says, Red, you gave me a jump scare and a half. So, yeah, okay, this is good, guys. This is good for us. Red and purple are actually going to start to chat. This might also save yellow. <laughs> Harry says, <laughs> Purple, putting aside the fact I just tried to murder you, do you want to switch sides <laughs> and be friends? Which I think we have to appreciate the level of realism here from Harry T. Because he did at least address it. And Purple says blue is pretty strong. And Harry is saying, come on now, you know blue will wipe you. Like I would be evil and betray him if I was you. Okay. And Harry says we only wanted to kill him, not you. This is good Diplo, people. Yeah! This is what we want! Now, unfortunately, yellow is dying this whole time. And green is not involved in this conversation. I think green might snitch. I don't know. I don't know where green's at. Green hasn't chatted much. Um, blue says... <clears throat> Let's just... He says, I try push soon. Let's just get rid of these bastards first. Harry says, all caps. Do you really want Paradox to win? And purple says, give me some stone. I can build castles around him and then war. Ooh, who has stone? Nobody has stone. That's unfortunate. Um, yep, that's not going to work. Okay, we need a new plan. Harry says, sadly, I don't have that. And yellow is going to try and reboom. Try and recover and stabilize somehow, some way. The purple should... I wonder if purple should still attack yellow because they're kind of making a side deal. You have to keep moving, though, because then your teammates are going to call you out. Paradox is still pushing. Hmm. Purple wanted to build castles. Not a bad plan, but if you start to build castles in here, surely Paradox sees it. Oh, my God. Red says I don't have gold. Uh, I don't have stone. And purple flips the script and says, okay, good to know. It'll make things easier. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just baited the enemy into letting him know how much stone they had. Because <laughs> he's trying to kill them. And uh, they said they don't have any. And he says, oh, good to know. That'll make life way easier. <laughs> what? And then purple goes to his team. And Purple says, they're trying to get me to ally. Expect them to be desperate. Whoa! Whoa, okay. 
Red says, all right, yellow, I'm going to die a good death. If we're lucky, I can kill one of them. It's boom time. Wow, Red's going to go now. He's got to really do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Green points out that yellow was asking him as well. Harry says, ocean. Whitey, let me be purple and blue is my caps, buddy. What? Let me be... Let me be purple and blue is my caps, buddy. What? I don't understand. So Harry is going to try and go to the ocean. I assume not this ocean. And yellow says I am dead of dead. Hmm. I don't like the ocean plan. That is quite a journey here. Um, I mean, maybe you could do it, but if they... Okay, so if people research trees in or people get close... Oh, God, Harry, Harry, Harry! Green is here. Green notices all your villagers running because blue is wiping you on this side. Try to let them know you're alone and blue will win. You can do it for me, bro. Yellow still has belief in the team. And Harry says, I tried that. That plan... Perp said he didn't care. Meanwhile, Paradox is enjoying life. Yellow's King is dead. Uh, it was right on the screen there, and I completely missed it. Yellow's King is dead. And Harry, you need to leave. Ocean, moon, uh, far away places. You need to leave now, because you will join your friend in death if you do not get out of their King explosion radius. Just barely survives. And oh! Oh! I forgot about this little path. Hmm. That is rather interesting. Harry T, not happy. You know, not happy. He's got to, you got to speak your final words. He says, you monsters. And Paradox, looking for his next meal, says, where is Red? Man, Purple picked a great time to leave some random camels here. Let me say that. But the Paladin can distract. Okay. The Paladin's a great idea. Uh, Paladin's dead. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, if he can die like here, he might actually end up killing purple and green. They should know the desperations here. He says rot. <laughs> Final words. All caps. Rot. <laughs> and, uh, well, King gets deleted. He figured this would give him his best shot. Uh, green and blue realize it's been communicated. They are now fleeing. They're probably panicking, but they should be okay. This will affect purple's eco, though. The second bomb to go off in uh, th this team's eco. Remember, Paradox got hit earlier. This puts purple in a really weak position now. And purple was the one. I actually like that, that Harry did this because purple was the one that turned them down and tricked them with the whole stone thing. Yeah, and Harry says, all, all right, at least I bombed him good for not allying us. Yeah, I think that's respectable. I think we can salute that. Purple did trick them. It was epic trick. It was sneaky, but still. Paradox says, okay, team, let's take five minutes. We need to cool off. What is this? Five minutes we need to cool off? What is this, a training set? Wait, what? Cool off? I mean, maybe, uh, maybe this is out of respect for purple. Yellow and red have formed a friendship. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure cool off just means get an army ready to kill people. Paradox knows he's going to be the guy who's killed. So this whole cool off he speaks of is a bunch of BS. But I think these guys have a lot of respect for each other. Whitey Wiseman says, I don't even mind if you go against me now. I'm just happy we got through this together. Okay, quick pause. Okay, I don't know why I need to pause for this, but it's important. These comments happen, and I get it. I want so badly, when someone says something like this, I don't even mind go if you go against me now. I'm just happy we got through this together. I want someone to instantly be sniped. Instant betrayal. Oh, that'd be so funny. Can you imagine? Man, it was such a good fight. It's, it's okay. I'm okay with giving you the win. And like, as they're typing it, Boom, dead. Like, the guy didn't even care. Oh, that'd be so funny. 
But yeah, I mean, they've, they've killed everybody together. They've accomplished all their goals together. Now only one person can win. But still, you want to win, right? Like, Purple did show some level of um, desire to be victory, victorious here. Right? There was, there was, I know that he tricked his opponents, but still, I think that there was part of them that wants to win. And he says, well, green, the best move is us versus blue. Which is true. Oh, cool off, bro. Oh, you just want to cool off. Yeah. yeah. Guys, why don't we take five minutes to just chill and figure things out and stabilize? Yeah, we're just cooling off, guys. That's all he's doing. Yeah, he he wants to prep defenses because he knows he's going to be attacked. Cool off. What is my caps, buddy? What does that mean? Blue my caps, buddy. Are they talking sports? Capitals fans? Green's king? Wait. Oh! Oh! Green! Green is cooling off! Paradox, you have a big decision to make. You have a very big decision to make. Green is cooling off. He's just going for... He just wants to swim. Oh my god. Paradox is like, what do you want to do? You're my day one. It's in your court. He's telling Purple how much he loves him. Meanwhile, Green is waltzing his king in here to kill Paradox. Where's the best spot to delete it? Question is, it's like when you die, how long will Paradox take to realize? I'd like us to finish this and we go at like men. My Sif is garbage. <laughs> okay. Paradox should look back where his king is and see the animations. He realizes it. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Delete the walls faster. I don't think there's a hole yet. There is a hole. There's weaving. Will it end the game for Paradox? Ah! He survives. Barely. Wow. <laughs> oh. Green drops question marks like he didn't know about that. And Paradox survives. Now, Purple, if there was ever a time to make your move, this is it. And Blue knows it and immediately turns on Purple. Wow. What a move, man. What a move. That was so well played all around. Green says, why did his king survive? Uh, it was just because there's, there's a countdown, right? Like... The reason we have a countdown is to give, like, obviously, things exploding is insanely strong, right? It destroys everything. So we have that countdown, and I've always had that countdown for a reason. Sick job from Paradox. To see Green was down, look, see the animation, and run like that. And now he says we dance. Paradox has some swagger to him, I gotta say. I was, I think if I'm Paradox, I run to this corner. I think either way, you would have had a way to, a direction to run. Hmm. Yeah, these, keep in mind, these guys are like five minutes ahead of me. So they're like talking about when I witnessed that. That was unbelievable. Chukunu against camels. Well, if it's camel riders, Chukunu all the way. If it's Mamelukes, I can't hate on the Mamelukes. Teal says, unless he is as blind as us. You have no right to say anyone is blind, mister, can't find my king for an hour. No T90 blind jokes from you. Anybody else? I guess you did just call yourself blind. Anybody else is acceptable. All the rams go down. Mamelukes are so fun, dude. Paradox did say that he thinks his sieve is bad. It's just... I don't think Chinese are bad. I think they're extremely well-rounded. They just don't have, like, that one unit which is insanely strong, like a Siege Onager, for example. But there's just still this whole other base for Paradox. Sure, things exploded, but... Purple's still gonna make it through. Here go the Mamelukes. But there's Bombard Towers. There's Rams. There's Chukunu. Will there be Halbs? We'll check Stockpiles. There's the Stockpiles bottom left. Purple's running out of resources. But... 
Paradox is also, also has like eight villagers, apparently. Like, Paradox is gonna have gold, but he's gonna run out of wood very quickly. Hmm. I like how green is like still trading through this, even though green is dead. Yeah, the fact that Paradox got bombed twice and is still potentially favored to win this game is unbelievable. He played really good. But still can't deal with these trebs. It feels like the trebs are going to slowly take down some towers and purple's making progress. Bombed three times. Let's see. He got bombed by... Yeah, he did get bombed three times. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so I'm trying to go back with it. Obviously, we just saw green. Um, teal bombed him. And then red hit... But red hit purple, though, right? Red primarily hit purple. I guess it might have hit some of Paradox as well. Let's say two and a half. How's that? I think Paradox has had a great game. And he, he's... He, I mean, he just set up so nicely to play a team game here. What Paradox wanted... What every player like Paradox is going to want is a st standard team game with no, like, backstabs, right? And he's stuck by his boys. And even one of his boys tried to, you know, blow him up, which, you know, that, that probably ruins some of the friendship there. But he still was able to survive it. Now, I'll tell you what wins this game for purple that purple will probably not do. You ready? You make trade this way. There's... Well, there's no markets there. I'm wrong. Yeah, if you could trade with somebody... Like, actually, does green have a market? Yeah. Any trade... Because Paradox can't trade at the moment, right? That can decide these games. There is markets for teal, which could be an option. You'd have to take care of a castle. It gets a little messy. But yeah, that's my thinking. I was looking for orange's markets because he was allied with orange. I think they were deleted at one point. You can delete... A dead enemy's... A dead ally's building. So, it's likely that maybe players deleted markets at some point. But yeah, a little bit of trade can go a long way here. Man, if only green was alive. To help with this fight. Paradox asking about the resource bank for his opponent because he's out of... He's running out of wood. Minton's has the wood, but he's running out of food and running out of gold. And I think, I mean, Paradox, he can maybe get more villagers over to wood. His his fortifications are there, so he can wait it out. And Mintens responds and says, I never used any wood, so I have tons, but bad gold. All right, well, Paradox, it's your turn to share now. This goes both ways, right? We both share information. Maybe he's he can't type because there's a siege onager coming in. Oh, God! Purple says your micro's good. As he flattens Shukunu from him. And Treb goes down. Big shot, 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 big shot! Okay. I was hoping for a big shot. Paradox. Says, I have no wood, I'm afraid. Let me set a sacrifice. Paradox. Does not think he can do it. And feels like the wood is going to be a determining factor. Keep in mind, he does have TCs. We could maybe send some villagers over here. I think Paradox could... I, I think this is actually maybe somewhat playable. But it seems like Minton says relics. He does not either. Just seeing Minton's gold go up. It must be somewhere... Um, I, I have no clue where it is, but there's it, got to be gold income. He's getting gold income from something. I just don't know how. And they just allied. I assume to finish this in a way of respect. And Minton says, know that you always have had a special part in my heart. And Paradox says, I'm glad you have won. You know, why don't I trust this? I'm expecting a backstab. I don't trust this. I think I, I should trust it. He says, you know, it's about the friends we make.
and what makes Kami games so special? Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> wait, no plot twist. <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> the paradox. I thought this was all about, you know, building each other up here. Purple says, I hope that, <laughs> that I see your micro used against me in the future. A great battle you would be. Okay, so we have a little ceremony being prepared here. Meanwhile, he's up to 2,000 wood. I'm just saying. Why do I feel like... Does he got transports? I do not trust it. I'm not seeing anything. His military count's not up. And hold on, hold on. We're not finished. Purple is here. They want to go out on their terms. They fought together valiantly. Blue... Maybe he's just sick of it at this point, right? You, we haven't been through war like this, King. This King has had to flee his land so many times. People he called friends have died in front of him. And now I believe, I think Paradox is just ready to give it up. He's happy with the story um, that, you know, that he's written here. What the history books will say. And he says, how shall he die? S.O., please. He's asking for siege onagers. And Purple is here. I, I don't know if Purple will be able to stomach this. He says, S.O. to the face. He's chosen his way of death. <laughs> Purple says, with the final message being friends, question mark, in caps, please. Friends in question mark? I swear, if the last word is friends with question mark. <laughs> oh, these people can't bear to watch this. <laughs> or the people. Friends with question mark. GG, Minton's wins. Paradox, obviously a crazy story. And basically that whole team was incredible. Listen, every community game is a bit different. Uh, we have our betrayals. We have our backstabs. Um, and we have our those teams that are somewhat established, and then immediately people break apart. This game wasn't really like that, right? The first two players that died, they, they were unfortunate, I think. And that might have just been largely due to the position. Maybe they didn't chat as much as the others. I don't know. But then it was just a, a 3v3. And when Teal was going to go down, he sent his king at Paradox. When uh, Purple was going to go... Uh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, Yellow was going to go down. He sent his king at Paradox. Red tried it as well. Everyone was just trying to get a piece of these guys. And in the end, I mean, they could have drugged this on for another hour until an inevitable stalemate and then resources run dry. I think they recognized it was a good game and they wanted the game to end before we forgot how good it was, right? So, salutes to them, GG, and uh, well played to both of them. Paradox could have easily been like, you know what, I kind of deserve this win. I'm going to drag it on an extra hour. Chose not to do that. In the end, the Great Wall, in the end, the trade for Paradox and team, very strong. You can see green, purple, and blue having more gold collected. Um, KD was a bit of a rough ride for some of them, right? Uh, maybe that was due to the civilizations they were up against. Uh, it really seemed like it was evenly matched, that 3v3, for a while. We're, let's not forget that it looked like Paradox was not making any progress. He was losing ground, and then Purple and Green stepped it up in their support. Really, I think Green played a massive role in that as well, right? Because he started those big raids against Teal. And Teal had become so accustomed to going to this side. Just kind of forgot, I think, the right side was was an option, so... Um, GG. Now, I do want to see, did they say friends, question mark? Because I can't see chat after the game ends uh, with Capture Age. Okay. Paradox said, for the people. And then Harry. <laughs> Harry was still in chat. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, the colors are a bit funky here. But I find this funny enough to show you. The basically, Paradox dies, 
and immediately sees Harry going, oh, and laughing with the Levens. And it was all respect there from Harry, of course, with the amazing and Paradox gave him the GG. So that's funny to me. There was no friends, question mark. Uh, Minton's dropped the GG. They all dropped the GG, whether they've been dead for a couple seconds or an hour. So uh, good game. Guess they're not friends, though, right? Is that what that means? No, no friends? That's sad. Maybe next time.